Okay, okay. Good afternoon, good afternoon to everyone, wherever you're watching for, from. We just want to say welcome to another week of Together We Rise, Building Our Nation. And this afternoon, we are happy to welcome to the stage Mr. Yasas Afari. And But tonight, we're just going to keep it plain and simple. So, Yasas, welcome to the program. Yeah, man. Give thanks to be here. A full time, now you get my name right, you know. It's Yasos Afari. Don't Afari. Feel right. <laughs> Why are you? How you, well, I know. I, you can't shake the Mr. Business. We don't miss nothing. There, everything on board. All right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome yeah, to the program. Simple. Together we rise, building our nation, your nation, my nation, all the nations of planet Earth. All right, yes, sir. So, as we know, we are basically facing a tropical storm. I, I know you're not the weatherman, Metropolitan, but I just wanted to give us a quick update what is happening over there in Jamaica. You know, tell us quick, you know, real, real country style. No one with breeze are blowing, banana water, a tear down, gully around, flooding are going. Make we hear what's going on in Jamaica. No? Well, it has been downgraded from a hurricane to a tropical storm. Uh, nevertheless, we have flood in Kingston and St. Andrew, as well as other parts of Jamaica. You know the vulnerable hotspots, uh, Harbour View, out in the east, Vineyard Town, the hills of St. Andrew, Halfway Tree. In the rural areas, not so badly affected like some of those areas, but you have whole heap of blow, um, food stuff are blow down, water, electricity are cut, you know, JPS thing up. Um, but they're doing a fairly good job this time around, though. We're losing internet here and there. But we're up and going and, you know, turn your hand make fashion and we are here. Well, good to hear that, you know, no life being lost. That's the most important part of it, you know. I talked to my mother earlier. They're getting intermittent shower. So they needed some rain on the south side there. So <laughs> I know it's a, a, a farming community and you would know more about the south side than nobody, than anybody else. You know, so definitely. Def definitely. And um, it was, you know, a dry spell with intermittent farmers shower here and there. Farmers sprinkle, if you may. But we have some people in Kingston Ball, you know, that buy them, they need the rain, but do else and about the only things there. So, you know, I mean, some, you can't please people and you can't please, well, nature can't please people. So we just have to just give thanks, um, as you said, no life loss. So we just take care of ourselves, look after ourselves, and try to stay safe. All right, good. All right, yes, sir. So bring you on this evening. We're, just, we're taking it plain and simple. But what many people may not know, that you have a duo with um, your daughter, Mick. Plain and simple. And there's also a challenge to this. So would you just give us an update or a highlight on this? plain and simple movement empowerment that you have going on? Well, right. Um, I wrote a poem, started out as a poem called Plain and Simple. Just trying to assert ourselves and reassert ourselves, not wanting to violate anyone's temple and certainly not allowing anyone to violate our temple. And wanted to pass on that message, especially in light of what is happening to our women and children in Jamaica and the degenerate behavior of many across the you know, the social spectrum and the social strata of Jamaica, as well as the world as well. And so I started from that, and I, I shared it with my daughter, Mick, because we share things with each other. Uh, we are good friends. Um, we, we, we like each other's opinion and thoughts and perspective. And so I shared it with her, and she really liked it immediately and suggested I change some stuff. She suggested some lines. Um, and so during that whole process now, I, I, I was teaching her, to chant the spell, just to roll our tongue. Um, or don't, or don't can't violate for a temple, that kind of thing there. We tell her that plain and simple. And she really liked that when she got it, she really liked it. And, and then now she asked me, where, where, where screw till the blue and wrinkle mean? And they, and they explained that to her and, 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 and um, dramatize it. But she has a little reserve uptown youth still. She kind of loved that. She just, Wow, she light up and she loved that that 
when she starts screw, me have to say wait. Look <laughs> like you and Ducky seems not par. <laughs> and, 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 and then she said, she never even know what is dimple. I'm a carrier and line, I will research and sure and explain. So she really liked the extreme, you know, from screw till you blue and wrinkle and smile till you squire your dimple. So she dramatized that. So we were researching different ways and means to connect with the younger demographics. You know, we always want to build bridges between the generations, between nations and people. And so, you know, during that research, I got this idea to do, to do a challenge. And so I brought the idea to Mick, and she loved it immediately. And we shot the clip, and we posted it online. And before you say who that, uh, we got responses from Ghana, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Canada, USA, Barbados, uh, Australia, Botswana, England. Well, I can have a keep up all over the place. Um, Anguilla. Um, and so, you know, we got instant response and, and, and England and, and, and the vibe was good and, and it kept growing. And so in, the, in between time, we recorded a single for an upcoming album. And, and we decided to do a video. And so we decided to, you know, to, to use innovation and, and networking. And so the people who, who were in the, who accepted the plain and simple challenge, we used those clips from the challenge to incorporate in the music video. And we had a launch on the 4th of, of, of June. And it was released to Zoja Worldwide. So it's on the, digi the major digital platforms. And we premiered the video then. And it is up on Jamaica TV, radio, YouTube channel. And so the media started responding more traditional and, 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 and social media in, in, in Africa, modern, modern Ghana, as well as the African dream, the CVM in Jamaica, TVJ in Jamaica, the Gleaner, the Observer, Jamaica TV radio, uh, my Spotify, that TV, they did a, a world premiere of the Father Data Synergy on my 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 telefy.tv for father's day on the 20th so there's so much happening and and we are now working on some other little projects i don't know if i want to say too much about that at the minute but we're working on some interesting projects as 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 the plain and simple challenge has transitioned into the plain and simple movement so we're doing things we're looking in the direction of film for the empowerment of men women and children and to and to uh, to advocate for social responsibility, social awareness, environmental awareness, and environmental responsibility. And so the 11th Annual Jamaica Poetry Festival, which is on Sunday, August 8th, 2 p.m. Jamaica time, broadcasting on uh, Public Broadcasting Company of Jamaica, uh, as well as the African Dream, PSI Network, KCN, uh, Jamaica TV radio and many other platforms across the world. Uh, we are going to spotlight now what we are doing in the plain and simple movement. So we are going to, to speak to social responsibility, environmental responsibility, social awareness, environmental awareness. And we are going to now integrate the social with environmental awareness, social responsibility with environmental responsibility. So we're taking an integrated, holistic approach to, to, to the movement and to, and to empowerment. Okay, thank you for you know, highlighting us on you know, the plain and simple movement. Um, but in that, I, I, I hear you mention a lot of uh, places that we can find it and where you've been broadcasting. But I just want to single out one of this channel, Jamaica TV Radio. You know, not many people are familiar with this. So could you just give us a little insight into this um, Jamaica TV radio? Very catchy, but so it seems very new. Comparatively very new. It only started last year. Interestingly, our 18th staging of Poetry in Motion uh, was streamed on Jamaica TV radio as well as IRFM. So it's a new entity that my daughter is heavily involved in. She has her own channel called Mick 
think. And so I'm kind of helping her to, to pave the way for our adulthood. And so I'm very supportive of that. Her mom is supportive as well. And so Jamaica TV Radio is being led by a nine-year-old, namely Mick. And so we are streaming live from the stream of life. But we are taking our time to grow, just like how we're not forcing Mick to grow up, make she grow in strides and leaps and bounds. And so we, are, we want that, that platform to grow with her as well. And so we started by streaming uh, Poetry in Motion, of which she was a co-host. So then she was involved there again. And so we are again streaming um, the 11th annual stage of Jamaica Poetry Festival, of which she'll be performing along with myself. For the very first time, we'll be performing as a duo publicly. And so, and so Jamaica TV Radio is something that you can look out for because we said the children are the future. And if that is so, this is being led by the future, our, 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 our people of the future. And so you can look out for who need to come for the next 150 years. Me lose your voice, you know, so on, brother. Yeah, check if there's a feedback um, on your side. I hear some feedback coming through. I hey, don't hear nothing. I mean, I'm not have feedback. Uh, what do what you suggest? Don't hear anything. All right. You we good? Yeah, man. All right. Okay. Um, so, as you said a while ago, Mick is heavily involved. All right. So, nine year old. We realize yeah. that your daughter is basically, I wouldn't say following in your footsteps, but she's launching out because even in Poetry in Motion, she was also a host. I wouldn't say co-host, but a host with you on that program. Could you just give us a little um, highlight? Who is Mick? You know, I know you. <laughs> she's your daughter, but we know she basically possesses some very, very skilled, you know, talent. You know, she, she, she's doing her thing and holding her own. Yes, my brother. Um, uh, let me just use this opportunity to say thank to you personally and to Real Talk for the support that you give to, to Poetry in Motion. Gratitude is a must on behalf of Mick and myself. Now, Mick, well, me and Mick have a little agreement, you know. So, me can't say certain things unless she give me permission. But she's not here physically right now. We give me permission. So me spiritually and telepathically, me ask for permission granted. Together we rise, building our nation. And we know we are in rising a nation building. So give thanks for permission granted. Mick is a little bit more than my daughter. Mick is my friend, my confidant, my business partner, my twin, and maybe even my mother. So it's an interesting relationship we have with this little youth. She's like an ancient future youth. She's only nine years old, but she could easily be 9,000 or 900,000 or even 9 million years. Because we are immortal people now. So she kind of be one of those old soul thing kind of vibration. So, so that youth is a youth where we admonish me. Where we check up on me like a mother would check up on a son. But she would check up on me like a daughter would check up on a father. And she would consult with me and raise with me as a business partner with one other business partner. And she would talk to me and advise me as a friend. And, and, and she would level with me as a twin sister. So boy, I don't mean, know if it's about a youth there. She's just a blessing and she's such a special youth, so wise, so intelligent. She has so much empathy. And, 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 and so that, that describes who she is. But you know what I mean? On the surface of it, she's my daughter. She goes to Mona Prep. She's involved in dancing, gymnastics, ballet, uh, singing, spelling bee. She's a top student academically as well. So she's well-rounded, you know? Okay. And she's a brilliant poet. She's a brilliant songwriter. Um, she's a brilliant uh, short story writer. Um, so we have some books looking at to publish for her. But she a holy thing. She's a philosopher as well. Right. And, and then, as you said, you, you read that rightly, you know, because he wants to know. You know, she has a my footstep. In some respect, yes, because I'm her father. The paving ways for her. 
But I'm also walking in her footstep in some respect as well. And so she's a youth who know herself and know who she, she is and who she want to be. And, and, and you can't bully her. Luckily, me and a man will bully people and bully your children. But she's not a woman who you can't bully. She's not a yes girl. She has her own opinion. She operates from an informed position. She's not afraid to ask questions. She's very respectful and respectable, but she's not afraid to ask questions. She's not afraid to disagree with you. And she's not afraid to challenge you. And she's not afraid to articulate her reasons. And she's not afraid to articulate her questions. Well, and I, I can tell you, I, I see it in her. You know, she's holding her own from um, poetry in motion. And even this um, plain and simple, we look at the video and I don't think nobody can put on a screw there and start no. so come back. <laughs> <laughs> look here. Me tell you, she's Bob Marley if you come chat to her. Yeah, man, that's, that's Greg, cool. Greg Isaac if you come chat to her. Ducky Sims if I'm Black Uhura if you come chat to her. Uh, King Stitch maybe if you go chat to her. Too. Wait, listen, one of my brothers come me from California and say, my brother, me know, say, this a man can hold your own as a little step in your own right still, but boy, you look like a Mick I teach you. I don't know, like, when Mick put on the screw up on you, Listen, I feel no sense. I used to live in a gated community where I must say one time she come out of the vehicle downtown and, and, and she go moon a prep as you know how the thing go. And when she dropped the screw face to pay you, brother, me no know who can match she. And, 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 and when she smiled to she light up the entire universe. So but she's blessed and highly favored. Yeah, man, I was going to come back to the smile because, you know, you know, some people probably them get one well in terms of the, of, the, of, the, of the smile or the screw. But Mick, you know, naturally, she's a beautiful young lady, you know, and she got the screw. And when she smiled, trust me, she featured the, the dimple, which, you know, that make the, 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 um, that um, single really, you know, gel because you can't really yeah. see that. And even the, 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 the people who are, are taking on the challenge, you see, yeah. you know, they might, they might bring something, you know, to the table, which is fun. I like it. And I like the, the challenge, you know. I, I look at all the little yeah. videos that you share. Give thanks, my brother. Um, I'm, I, you, you hit it in the nail head again because I think the people who accepted the challenge, they were inspired by me. And they have said that even on the clips that you would have seen on social media, and on one-on-one, -on -one, and at the launch as well, because, as you say, she's a beautiful, gorgeous uh, princess, uh, young, young girl, uh, but she's, she's, she's humble, but she's assertive and confident. She, have a certain, she has a certain level of maturity that belies her age, and she, it's hard not to love her, and people gravitate towards her and magnetize, and, and people are inspired by her. And so I think a part of the success for the, the plain and simple challenge is really Mick. I mean, me have my own little credit in the mix of everything still, but the huge sheer, the lioness sheer must go to Mick because people just can't get enough of her. And, and you know, she's so radiant, so beautiful, so humble, so powerful, so confident. And then it is, it is in, in light of what is happening to our women and children, it's good to see that she could step up and be so humble, but being so strong, being so assertive. And really, that has inspired the women, that has inspired the children, and that has inspired the males as well. If you would have noticed, we have a lot of children in the, in the challenge and in the video. We have a lot of, of females and we have a lot of males. We have Rasta, we have Christian, we have white people, we have different uh, mix uh, of, of people. So it's really speaking to the global community. And we are also promoting you know, Jamaica and Jamaica culturalness, uh, cultural awareness, but we are also promoting one earth, one love, one humanity. And so that, that, that came out in, in, in mixed approach and in the responses that we have been getting for the plain and simple challenge and the plain and simple movement and the plain and simple single, as well as the plain and simple video and, and, and the other layers that you keep adding. All right, yes, sir. I, I know, looking at, Mick and, and looking at what she's doing. You know, only one name comes to mind right now. And I just want you to elaborate on it. 
Amanda Garman. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, this now. It's interesting that you said that, you know, because when we were doing Poetry in Motion, there's a TV anchor in Amsterdam, Aldit Hunker. She also has her own TV channel called Poker TV. She wrote in the, in, in, in the chat that watch your back Amanda Garman, <laughs> which, is <a> huge compliment, <laughs> which is a huge compliment for Mick, really, at that time. Mick was eight at the time, you know, because Mick just turned nine, right. March gone, you know. So, so at the time she was eight and she said, watch over Amanda. And she's not the only person to have said that. So I don't know if you saw that in the chat, but for you to be saying that is a huge compliment to me as well. And we take it graciously and humbly, but respectfully. And, 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 and that's interesting. And um, Amanda Carman is someone who is aware of both Poetry in Motion and Jamaica Poetry Festival. Because she blew up out of this world, you know, we were trying to get her, I have to confess, for um, Jamaica Poetry Festival. It might not happen. Still might. Still might not happen. But nevertheless, we admire what she's doing as a young lady who has been so uh, potent, so impactful, so conscious, so empowering. So for even mention making the same sentence with her on several occasions from several sources, it's an honor, and we take that with gratitude and thanksgiving on Nick's behalf. And, and we are very proud for that. She couldn't have had, you know, a better, a better comparison um, and a better inspiration uh, for her to grow within that, that expectation and that, and that comparative perception. Yes, man. That's the only name I could think of when I, when I, when wow. I look at you know. <laughs> Give thanks. And, and, and me, 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 have to, me have to say this too. Because many people, many people from the inauguration were saying that Amanda Garman really riding on the shoulders of Maya Angelou. And Maya Angelou is one of the penultimate poets of the past two centuries. Certainly the 20th and the 21st century. She, she, she's a contender for the 21st century as well. And so for, 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 for now, Mick by that association to be to be compared to both Maya Angelou uh, and, and Amanda Garman says a lot and so we think we have a lot of work on my hand and she has a lot of work on her hand but we are ready for the challenge and we are we are inspired by it and we are honored and we are humbled. All right in, in that sense since we're talking about um me and we know the type of father you are but you know we're now going to extend to the wider community. We know you are a motivator. We, are, we see you, where you travel the world, uh, basically, you know, presenting, inspiring, motivating, and uplifting youth, kids, and a whole. Um, do you have any advice you know, for young girls, especially you know, black girls in particular, as they try to earn their way into the spotlight? So, you know, um, poetry you know, is a competitive world, and, you know, Yeah, yeah, me there, yes, us. Yeah, man, sure. What happened is that, um, my brother, as you referred earlier to it, it, the challenge, it, it's fun. So we like the learning experience to be fun. You know, if you go on like in a tight jacket, our people have gone on your head. You can full joy the process of acquiring knowledge and sharing knowledge. So our approach is entertainment. And so for people who are aspiring, to fulfill the potential, be it in poetry, music, dance, art, academia, sports, it doesn't matter. It's really realizing your purpose and your potential. It's really fulfilling your passion. It's really to becoming who you are, destined to be, who you were created and designed to be, and let nothing stand in the way. And so we'd like to say to these young people, don't be violated by no one at all. It's not up for the bit. It's not up for any question. There's no um, ambivalence. There's no ambiguity. There's no need for any argument. Zero tolerance to any form of violation. And so I would say to them, not only must you take that stance not to be violated, but equally, take the stance and the responsibility not to violate anyone's temple. And then to use all the resources at your disposal 
and go find it. Fulfill your talent. Fulfill your purpose. Fulfill your potential. Be someone. Be the best that you can be. Go for the top. Aim for the sky. And if you pray adventure you miss, maybe you could settle for the tree top. But if you go for the tree top and you miss, you know, so some big rocks will not wait for you. So aim for the highs. You know, there is no box. Some people say, think outside the box. And I'm saying, box? Which box are you talking about? There's no box. We have unlimited potential. We are made in the image and, image and likeness of the almighty God and goddess of the universe. So where is the limitation? There's no limitation. And you must not put any limitation on yourself. And you must not allow anyone to put any limitation on you and your potential. Powerful words there. Yes, us. Powerful, powerful word. I hope, you know, any young lady that is listening to this, I hope you share it with another because those are words that you can um, draw from any day, you know, as you go through life, you know. So thank you for sharing there, uh, Yasos. And give thanks to Rola. Yeah, man. And, you know, if I can say something else to that, Ian. Go ahead, man. Blood farm is yours. Yeah, they yeah, put the woman back on, on all kind of place. And, well, if she want to go back, if it suit her, then it's up to her, really. But we should have all women up beside us, and, and sometimes they can lead us as well. We don't have to be afraid of that because, you know, we, we were told that, according to the Bible story, we were the women were made from Adam ribs. But, you know, that's up for the gate because up to now we don't see nobody abandoned from nobody ribs, whether Adam or, or nobody else. So right now it is only reasonable to say that the women were here before us because at the woman we see push me out and give birth to it. So we have to give the women that honor and, and, and that respect and, and that support and, and see them as equal partners. And, and, and so the family as well with father, mother and child, that's what we are about. And we who study little chemistry know say have the protons, the neutrons and the electrons. And, 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 and you look in the heavens, you have the sun, the moon and the stars. You look in the earth, you have the father, the mother and the children. So we need to keep the family together. And that's what the poem um, plain and simple is all about. That's what the challenge and the plain and simple movement is all about. Empowering the family. We don't just want to empower the children and then we lift out the woman. Or they the, empower the woman and lift out the man. Empower the parents and lift out the children. We want to empower the family. It takes a village. It takes a family. And so we want us to find a way to mend the fences. Work out the little differences. And we can stay together as a family. Because the children need both parents, you know. And even the father, even if the money short a week in here or a month in here. Now feel the way, man. Go in with the little way you have. Pick one little flowers off of any wild flowers tree. And carry it for the mother if you feel like that and the child. And carry any little fruits you have. And take up the homework book, man. And do little A, B, C and little one, two, three. And even find out, so what you learn at school this week, or what was it? And you know, you, you might frighten the difference of that make. You know, if you have even 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 little even little dumpling man, buy one little dumpling man and, and cut two colour and steam it with it. And if even a colour man, get one little piece of butter man and put it beside the dumpling and cut it up, man, and shear it, man, and yeah, she eat that and make it a baby. Who don't know what baby cheese you get little <laughs> sugar and water, and if you can't put little lemonade in there, or even piece, broke piece of mint, peppermint, and dash it in there, crush it up and dash it in there, you fry it, you see the flavor you get. And even if you can't have that, drink little water, man, and thing, and, and that little band in there, and that little something there, where you, where you did together, hug her up and tell her, so she's beautiful, and tell her, say, thank you. And what do you think about this, Mick? What is your opinion? That, that little banding something there, you know, my brother. It do something for lift you up courage and spirit and confidence. And you know, say, as the honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey say, with confidence, you win. You never have to start the race. You win already. And if you don't have no confidence, might as well go home, you know. Yes, yes. You know, you are triggered. If you go back to some question, you know, we, we ask you a question already, because you know, just so you guys know, yes, has been on the platform a few times, you know, here and here, and real talk. You know, we could have him just once, you know, his story, you know, is so, so deep that we had to bring him twice. But yes, as you just talk about empowering the woman, you know, 
And I just see you start chop up some pot or something. And we already have to have a plain and simple. So, with any new viewers we have coming on this evening, I want you to take it back. Let people that know which part you come from, man, and just the, 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 the influence in terms of you, your mother. I can go to your mother, Miss Derek. I mean, you are differently. And the upbringing. And just walk with you back in the days. All right, quick and fast. When me is a youth born in a Hamilton town, which is a subdivision of Rosa district in a southeast St. Elizabeth, original Red Dot Boy. Me born in a one like a one room mud house, Darba Wacker, Jealousy in the kick and block, touch roof, kitchen down the so, tank down the so, latrine around the, round the so, butcher around the so, barbecue around the so. We have to go look wood, wood, a woodland become boy like a thing. We have to go a parish tank, round a, round a, round a, um, Run a curve, a uh, car line. Curve we can take water up our head. Yeah, water if we run in our tank. We have to walk. Most, I won't be the only man, you thought I'm a mother, children, when you go out barefoot, without shoes or slippers on your foot. Me, I used to start a BB Coke. It used to be Junction Secondary at the time. Me, have to walk six miles to Ridge and Man inside of the whole works. Go and come from school. When we go states, we have to walk on cheap side, six miles for catch one bus to go states until we started to board. So we never grew up in a privileged situation because we never have any telephone, nor radio, nor television, nor newspaper. The first time we encounter newspaper when we go to Thailand. And 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 outside a newspaper ballad, ballad bush. <laughs> yeah, you go, you go wrong. You tell me we talk straight enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well okay. I'm, I'm listening to <laughs> when night time comes, a peony while a stranger we catch put in a back if we flashlight. Firefly, some people call it peony wally, put in a back of a flashlight. We never have no paved road. Listen, it's after me leave college that we get electricity in our house, you know. So so our influence was really from the mother and the school and the church and the community, the elders in the community and the whole, the whole community from Hamilton. So my mother, as you say, Mama Derry, affectionately called Sister Derry. Um, my father, Uncle Staff, is a man we always sit down and I meditate and chew tobacco and we are walking stick and see us like a judge when I laugh. And then the extended community, you know many of the elders in the community and, and, and how they look out for each other and they could chastise you and tell your mother when you are the wrong and you have to be respectful to them. Mm -hmm. So it's really the African proverb in, in, in action. It takes a village. And so the village of Rosal, more specifically Hamburton Town, the wider community Rosal, um, South East St. Elizabeth was really where I grew up and were, and, and were nature, nurtured. And so when I attended St. Elizabeth Technical High School, our alma mater, uh, in about the mid, mid to late 70s, I was in a class with Mrs. Alga McDonald. And she asked me to write a poem for, for our coursework. And I reflected on the old childhood memories with the Pini Wale and walking to school and no electricity. And so I was fascinated with the sun when I was growing up, you know, rising in the east, setting in the west. And when I come home from, from school for lunch, you see it way up in the zenith. So I was fascinated. And so my first poem was The Traveling Sun. And she read it to the class and said, I must continue writing. So she there, you know, was a source of positive reinforcement. And so St. Elizabeth Technical High School with John Patin, John Fiction, Carl Boggs, Mr. Linton, who taught me sociology, and Mr. McDonald, who taught me engineering science, uh, Andrew Honis's father, our current prime minister's father, Mr. Honis taught me agricultural science. And I was one of his favorite students, and he was one of my favorite teachers of all times as well. And so we had really a village at States, um, and we keep that relationship with even our current principal, Mr. Wellington, to miss people like uh, 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 Miss, Mrs. Lewis, to, to uh, Shaka. Sorry if I call him Shaka, but I don't name they come to me right now. And all the principals, as a farmer, the state's community is, is a family as well, which has helped to nurture me. And so even with us doing this interview, it's a special pride of place because you are one of us in that respect, both from St. Elizabeth and from St. Elizabeth Technical High School. All right, with that, yes, sir. You know, we just want to give a shout out to the Stets coaching staff. You know, I, I, I know you should know by now. Stets, this Olympic trials have six members yes. that will be going up yes. to Tokyo. 
What yes. an accomplishment. What a same thing. And, and can, I, can I say this now? Our ambassador to Japan, Ambassador Shauna K. Richards, she is performing on Jamaica Poetry Festival. So me tell her, when she always, me don't need to tell her that. But me still have to go brag and pan her like and the back show. So you take good, good, good extra care of the Olympians this year. Look, a six of them we are saying, come put in your hand. And so you see, the Jamaica, that, that is why this year the Jamaica Poetry Festival has the, the, the it's, a glo it's a virtual staging, but it's the global diaspora. Because you know, the so Jamaica people walk out and we take charge anywhere we go. And so we're happy that states follow in that tradition to be sending six to Tokyo, Japan. So we, we continue to rise, even in, in harmony with, with your program. Together we rise, building our nation. And so we are doing that in our little way. States is doing that in our little way. And what Ambassador Richards will be doing at Jamaica Poetry Festival is speaking to cultural diplomacy, letting each of us as Jamaican know that we have a responsibility to be ambassadors for our beautiful and powerful country and to go out there and put the best foot forward and to be responsible and to, and to, and to put up the country in a good light and to focus on the positives and use that to overwhelm the negative. We know we're not short of problem, but we're not short of goodness either. So let us focus more attention on the goodness and assert that and, and be cultural ambassadors in any field and any sphere of life we are and we'll be better to advance in the welfare of the entire human race as the little about Talawa Island in the sun. Yeah, man, I, I, I felt so proud when we see the name them start pop up, you know? It, it, it was just but, a bad time. Yeah, for me, it, but, 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 but Ian, you know me, I take out the opportunity. You as a, um, your former um, co-host um, is an Olympian, you are a cricketer par excellence. Um, but we want to be got people like Oliver Clue. Mike Olivier, Mr. Yeah, Senior, man, the whole of the coach, the man, and 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 thing will help make uh, state stand out so much as a as a as a landmark school within the sporting fraternity as well. Yeah, man, states have some excellent coaches there, you know, members of staff, past and present, because you know, yeah. as I said, we can forget Mr. Mike Olivier, Mercy, you know, Olivier, yeah. real general, but they know we have. One of the top coach in the island, Mr. Walcott, you know, Shelly and Fraser, I know. I said the adapt states, because that's her training right. ground, basically. Right. That's the coach for her. Yeah. You know, not giving away anything, but you know, just to know that states is doing so well, you know, and the international. And big, up, big up Mr. Weatherburn at the same time, and big up Mr. Bennett and Mr. Walcott. I don't meet you yet, but love and honor all the best in doing what you are doing. Excellent job. Yeah, man, good, good, good going. Um, yes, us, um, get this one out the way quick because you, you mentioned a few of the people who will be coming on and this um year, the staging of poetry, the Jamaica Poetry Festival. So, we just want to run through some of the, the, the top names we can expect on the show. Well, together we rise at the first thing I got talk is publicly. Linton Quasi Johnson, who is the only living black poet to be published by Penguin. And Penguin is the biggest book publisher on the planet. And he's a Jamaican born in Clarendon and migrated in the late 50s to England. He's currently in London. Huge! Anywhere you talk about poetry in the world, he's on for the first time this year. The six greatest guitarists of all times in any genre, in history, on our planet Earth is a Jamaican called Ernie Wrangling. Google hit quick and fast. He's on this year. Jamaica poet laureate Olive Senior is on. One of our literary icons Dr. Velma Pola, that wrote the best-selling book, Dread Talk, among others, she's on. We have people from Brazil, Emerson from Brazil. We have Bob Kanz from the Netherlands. We have Be Expressive Soul from Canada. We have Coco Lorraine from Canada. 
We have um, Akin Sanya from Portland. Certainly, Yasso Safara will be there. Mick will be there. Shall be there. Um, who will be the voter now? A P. Giant, the band is you know. Yeah. No. Uh, and, and so, and so, you know, the list continues. Um, we have quite a few, but those are some of the names, the giant names that come, that come readily to mind. All right. If anyone join late, I may not be able to go back to the beginning. Just tell them where we're going to find you know, this event. We know it's the 8th of August. We know it's 2 p.m. But where will it be streamed? Is it live broadcast stream? Just give them an update on it. Right. Well, this is the 11th annual staging of Jamaica Poetry Festival, which will be held on Sunday, August 8th, 2 p.m. sharp, like guillotine, stream live on PBCJ, which is Public Broadcasting Company of Jamaica. It is a government-owned television cable station, but they'll be streaming, they'll be on cable live, but they'll also be streaming on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll also be giving feed to PSI, uh, Platinum International Search Network, they operate out of the British Virgin Islands. We'll also be streaming live on The African Dream. That's that uh, is a cable station in Washington, D.C. That is streamed to 250 million households weekly. Uh, KCN out of Anguilla will be streaming as well. As well as Jamaica, one word. TV radio, one word. And YouTube, as well as Jamaica Poetry Festival uh, Facebook page as well as many other that will be getting feeds from PBCJ and us as well. So we'll be all over the place, um, all the digital platforms, all the social media platforms. Uh, but the principal uh, platform will be PBCJ, and it, is, it can be found. The handle is PBC Jamaica. Uh, so YouTube, PBC Jamaica, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, website, cable public broadcasting company of Jamaica. Incidentally, it is a statutory body. It operates out of the office of the Prime Minister. So you can't get better than that because it's the Jamaica Poetry Festival that, 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 that this year will be streamed on the public broadcasting company of Jamaica that is, that is operating out of the office of the Prime Minister. So you don't know, say, as we rise as a nation, you know, together we rise as a nation, building our nation. So that's what we are about. Uh, we are about social responsibility. We are about nation building. We are in a pandemic year, so we're going to look after each other. We're going to be responsible. We're going to adhere to the government protocol, irrespective of your personal opinion. We are building a nation now. We don't want to go into anarchy and confusion. So we're just trying to inform ourselves, state our opinions responsibly. Feel free to share it with the public and the powers that be, but act in a responsible way in the interest of the nation, uh, uh, subverting your selfish interests to serve the interests of the nation. And that's the example we are setting with Jamaica Poetry Festival. And so, and so that is what will be happening. We have already had confirmed Jamaica National as a, one of our sponsors, as well as the Tourism Enhancement Fund and the, and the Ministry of uh, culture, gender, entertainment, and sports. The super ministry that is headed by the hardworking Minister Olivia Babsy Grange. We are currently negotiating with several other corporate entities, inclusive of the Jamaica Tourist Board, Jamaica Public Service, uh, the Canadian uh, High Commission, uh, as well as others. So, so, you know, it's a good look and it's a good vibe, and we're really looking forward. To, to it, and we want the audience to be there. We're healing out. Um, my sister in, in Birmingham, Natalie Fagan Brown, last year she organized a house party. And she said it was so successful that they can't wait. They start buying drinks and nuts and food already to go have a cookout. So we try to encourage, encourage other people as well. Say, yeah, man, call over some friends, man, buy some nuts and some juice, man, and cook little food, man, and, and make a full jar of the thing, you know. Uh, we have the very best uh, performers and poets from all across the world. Um, and certainly, you know, we named the headliners earlier, Linton, Quasi, Johnson, 
Ernie Ranglin, Olive Senior, Velma Pollard, Akin Sanya, Yasa Safari. Uh, we have our bridging from Brazil. We have people from Canada. We have Coco Lorraine. Uh, we have, uh, who is we have this? I don't know. We have maybe about 13, 15 people, and we have some special surprise as well. And so, so we have a, a, a fulsome poetry feast, as we call it. Yes, yes. You see, you said something earlier, you know. And I, I, if, if me never know you, me I make it fly, and I'm going to take you on Panawana. Because you say, it can't get better than that. But I want to tell you something. Over the years that I've been following Yasas Afari, Afari, Saf all right? Afari, I, 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 yeah. Yasas Afari, but I've been following yeah. Yasas. I must say, your production them only get better and better. So when you say can't get better, that 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 that's all good. Because you, I can tell you, you have just, in terms of your delivery, on stage performance, your coordinating the events, getting things happening, you're doing things, planning a year ahead. I, I, I don't see anybody like you. So things right, out brother. Of everything. My brother, my head big already, you know, and, and <laughs> it swelled the cloud a while ago. But me give thanks, my brother, and me, me, me feel you. Me know, so you know, I said that just for me feel good. So respect and honor, and, and, we, and we're happy. And my brother, you know how we go. We come, we are sent this boy, you know, and we put your best. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Um, you, uh, you go back there again. See if you go back the way you did before. Oh, 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 oh mistake. Yeah, we are still here. Static. Now mute mine. I'll come back. Okay. Mute, mute, and come back in. Mute it. All right. All right. All right. Come back in again. Microphone cash. I hope the cash work that time. I you know and not the check. So my brother, I'm saying my head big already still, and when you say a while ago it's swell, but. Mm. Me feel you're genuinely still, and 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 me know so you mean what you say, and me feel honored and humbled and and encouraged and confident by by when you say that. And if I may share a quick story with you, we were invited by the Canadian High Commission, the uh, 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 Ambassador Larry Peters, to the Canadian Embassy in 2018, October 2018. And after we were seated in the conference room, one of the first things she said to me, "I've heard that your event." have never started late. And she was not even in Jamaica for a year. So you see, sometimes when you do little, little, little good things, them, them go in front of your head, pave the way. Because she is saying that was one of the reasons that they wanted to partner with us. Because for them as Canadians, it's a big deal. And she may have been a say plain, you know, what we know as a Rasta man, as an artist. She was a little bit surprised how we keep with things professional on time. I mean, when she called the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador um, Shauna K. Richards, who is now in Japan, was in Jamaica for a while, and she was the person that the, the Canadian embassy called, and she said, do you know Yasa Safari? She said, yes, I know him quite well. Actually, I met him outside of Jamaica when he was doing some work in South Africa. The ambassador said, is he a good person to deal with? She said, you can't find better than him. And, and so, me, me, me feel honored and humbled, my brother, that these people from different, you know, first world countries and from different levels of society can, can be saying these things with confidence and we have not let them down. That we try to put this thing forward, credible, transparent, professional, starting on time, not insulting and disrespecting people, even if you have different opinions, you state your opinion respectfully and you listen to people's opinion respectfully and that's what we promote at our events and that is why we get so much support from corporate jamaica even in the pandemic years when things kind of scarce and even when poetry is not the most popular art form but we have managed it, as you said with, with with respect i mean the officer the prime minister would not associate the public broadcasting company of Jamaica with that with an entity that would bring the country into disrepute. And so we have to stand up with, with dignity and integrity. Like our, our Alma Mata said, work on integrity. So we work with integrity, we work with dignity, we work with honor. 
and, 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 and it, it is paying off and it has paid off and it continues to. Yeah, man, I just want to say good work, you know, as Angie B. Johnson would say, proud of you, you know, I'm, I'm proud of you and the work that you have done over the years because, you know, many yeah. people don't know you've been in this thing for a, you've been in this thing for a decade. <laughs> for a decade? <laughs> and they keep time straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you, 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 I want to tell you this, you know, it, it's like over the years, you get more youthful, more vibes. I like that. Well, uh, look me here. Tap it. Because <laughs> you're not afraid to me with that. <laughs> uh, can I tell you something? As a Rasta man, I didn't think they love you, you know. Because you see, me neither the all of all of business, and we have to have the energy to do things and to continue to do things, pan with feet and with energy and, 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 and conviction. So we hear that a few times from different sources. So why you couldn't do nothing better for me since night, you know, get better than that. <laughs> yeah, my man. You take your you take you take your thing to another level. That's all we can say. To a to a different yeah. level. From the production, even the dressing, you know, we look on you, it's like, you know, we know you have special designer because them think clothes where you wear the ordinary, you know, coordinating from head to toe. Wow, you think you're easy. <laughs> look at are you make this for yourself. Give me the, the opportunity to big up my designer, Ashanti. Ashanti Designs. Because, I'll mean, show you something. I know Ghana is not going to feel no English part in there. Go ahead, man. When I brought garnet silk to Ashanti, garnet silk said, boy, I saw them things, you look good, but I my kind of thing, my man. I hear a thing. When we bring the bird junior name to Honorable, he said the same thing too. And I, you see, we turn out after a while. And so she has been with I and I from those times. And recently she said, Yasos, I want to make something for Mick. I said, yeah, man, I come and support you. She said, no, 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 forget about support. I want to make something as a gift to me because what we see you and me doing, it is inspired, has inspired us so much. It reminds us of when you, you know, just started um, merging with her. And so that tradition continues now, whereby as soon as me get holiday, Ashanti will be designing her outfit for Jamaica Poetry Festival. So my brother, when we say we don't want to violate with temple, and we don't want to violate anyone's temple, when you adorn yourself respectfully, that means, you know how we stay um, Ian when we are going to school as a little boy. Even if you the bottom of your trousers tear out, you patch it. And if you have one suit of clothes, you wash it and hang it. We never have no stove to hang it up behind. But you put iron a fire and use banana rush, clean it off and, and, and old cloth. And, 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 and iron it out. That means to say you're not, nastiness is no excuse. Poverty is no excuse for nastiness. So you, if I have one cup of water, we know how to be with one cup of water. And we know say, if I want suit of clothes, we are going to cool, clean, see away. And we know say, if I want a cup of water, you know, say, you, you, you have to wipe out your, your ears hole and your nose hole. And you have to brush your teeth if I go with your finger. If I even with two stick. If I even uh -huh. with with key. You know what I mean? So, so it's a part of it. So when we try to attire, we say respectfully, we don't want to carry frozenness amongst people. We don't want to show like we don't respect the temple where we born in the car. The human temple is the first church of the Almighty God. You know? So when we say no one violate the temple, we don't want to talk about rape and knife and cutting. You know? We talk about drugs and bad food and bad drinks and bad thoughts, bad conversations, bad relationships, bad energy. We just need to treat the temple like a house where the Almighty God dwell. And you know, say, so you know, want to live in a house with Hanasi and Cabweb and Cockroach and Rat. And all kind of when you make the thing nice. So the most I want to dwell in a temple that is, that is palatable and habitable. And so if we do that, we we'll encourage the most I to abide within us and to encamp around us. And so we'll be protected spiritually, mentally, and physically. All right, respect yes, us. Uh, right now, um, you just came back down because you know, when I big up, as you say, your designer, but you call one of my favorite artists, which is Garnet Silk. And I know yeah. you're Garnet Silk, go way back. 
So, you know, just give us a quick recap of the friendship of the, with you and Garnet Silk from back in them days. Eh? All right, well, me meet Garnet Silk before him start growing locks. And he was introduced to me by Tony Rebel. And the fir one of the first things he said to me, you're so safari, I love you, you know. And you know, say, and every day a man I look on you and look you straight in the eye and say, I love you. But it felt so good and clean and brotherly that I could have feel the love. And that was one of the hallmarks of Ghana Silk. That's why he had such a profound impact and continues to have an impact. Because he, he loved the people genuinely, you know, and it come out in his music and in passion. So Ghana Silk is a youth full of love and full of melody. We're, we're, we're good for the temple, good for the vibes of the people. He, he's a youth where, just as we are say, um, together we rise. He wants us to rise together and build each other, build the nation, build Africa, build humanity. So he's a youth full of love and passion. He loves Rastafari, he loves the music, he loves his family, he loves the people. Um, him love Ja, him God fearing, him, him like to give him best. And so we really loved each other, really, and look off each other almost like a twin. You know, we vibe off of each other. We, we, we him, him asks personal advice from relationship with him, woman, to <laughs> make him talk about some of the things. You know what I mean? So we kind of vibe that way there, and, and, and we grow that way there, and we carry her, you know, build off each other. Um, enough people don't even know this, but Ghana Silk actually. Uh, pleaded with me. Like I didn't have the idea of a combination. He said, we can't leave out of the studio unless we do a combination together. And I'm one of his biggest fans and his biggest supporters. He's one of my biggest fans of all time. And so from Ghana Silk want a combination, Ghana Silk get a combination. And so we did, I can see clearly. But I actually produced Ghana Silk. We did three songs together, two of which I produced. And I can see clearly which is the most popular one was produced by Code Code. But there's also IPEN. And there's also people dancing, which went to the top 10 in Japan. That was a huge success in Japan. And so, and so I, I wrote Ghana Silk first bio. You know, I wrote the first verse of I Saw Zion in a Vision. So there are many things that we have done that the public not fully aware of, but, you know, those speak to the, the, the abiding relationship that we had and still have. Uh, nothing can divide us. Yeah, man, rest on in peace and love, Garnet. You know, as I say, yeah. favorite artist up to today, day. Yeah. Uh, the music them when, when have a road. I just say, clean, plain, and simple, and love. Yeah. You know, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, that's it, what it's wrapped in. Yes, sir. Where people don't know now, you talk about writing, writing music and poetry and all that thing. But they don't know you write book from a long time. So, may I tell you, just tell the people, them a little about. The author, Yasus, and the book, Overstanding, Rastafarian. Okay. Well, my first book was I Pen, which was, which was um, the song that, one of the songs that me and Silk did, I Pen, is the title for that, for that anthology that came out in 1999. And then my second book is a bestseller in Jamaica and continues to do very well internationally. It's called Overstanding Rastafari, Jamaica's Gift to the World. Quickly, how that came about, I wrote a proposal to Senator Birchell Whiteman, who was the Minister of Education, Youth and Culture back in the 90s. And so that led, led to the Culture Agency Program, to the Jamaica Day, to cultural entrepreneurship and cultural tourism. And I am a, I am a significant non-governmental contributor to the government of Jamaica's policy document on culture and education. So when we were going to the schools as a culture agent, I recognized that the CXC, Caribbean Examination Council, had Rastafari as an indigenous social and religious uh, expression of the Caribbean. But the resource material were not written by Rastafari. And many of the resource personnel was not Rastafari. So we decided to change that. And so I decided to use the questions that teachers and students ask in the culture agency program and, and during my travels. And we look at the curriculum as well. And we use those to inform the 21 chapters in the book, Overstanding Rastafari, Jamaica's Gift to the World. And that book is currently being used by Oxford University as a reference text and myself as a, as a resource person for, for a book series that they have for religious studies in the Caribbean. It is used by the Gender Studies Unit at the University of the West Indies. It is used by Victoria University in Wellington, New Zealand. It was used in a case with a Cameroonian refugee in Australia 
uh, to assert his right for the use of marijuana as a sacramental use. And he referenced overstanding Rastafari, almost like you would reference the Bible. And the judge borrowed the book from him and, 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 and read it for two weeks and came back and dismissed him on the argument that the book presented in defense of the sacrament. So the book has been doing tremendous work. It has been used in the Standing Advisory Council in Religious Education in the United Kingdom. And we have, we have with the strength of the book, um, uh, made the British government add Rastafari as one of the eight faiths that must be taught in schools. We have also used the book to, 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 to support uh, incarcerated Rastafarians so that they can be given certain privileges inside the penal justice system. And, and the book is now used um, as, as, uh, as a reference text in those institutions as well, as well as many others. We're just naming a few. And, 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 and so we are happy to write that book. Uh, uh, it's a prose, it's not, it's not a book of poetry, but it has done exceptionally well. We are now um, upgrading the, the, the next edition. And, 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 and making it widely available based on increased demand that we have had from last year. And so my, my third, third book is Vocal Inc, The Mental Intercourse, which is a novel combined with poetry. And then my company, Senyakom, has also published Making Kenke from Memory, which was written by Kabu of IRFN and Running Africa Fame. And currently, I'm working on Mikaya's books, and I have a and I have I have a few books lined up to come out um, and send your com publishing as well. Well, big up to the author. You know, great work. You continue to pivot. You continue to you know, basically find new stream, new way to empower people. You know, you are reaching people across the world. We know you travel a lot. You know, you've been to many nations. You know, bring the world personally. But one way to get it right across. Is through writing and a book that's been published years and years to come. Somebody can pick it up and read. And I know it's all about empowerment. So big up yourself and the work. Give thanks, Caffeine, and write your own. <laughs> <laughs> and between me and you, you see, as, you see, as a little one room boy from Hambleton Town, Rosal District in St. Elizabeth, where I met the people, they know there are 49 countries are gone, a one, a one continent. I, I'm winner by it. And, and, and we go at some of them are 20 or 30 times. So I'm like the traveling SON, just like the first poem I write, which was the traveling SON. So, you know, the work that you do, once you do it with integrity, and you work with integrity, you know, things can happen. So even if you're a, even if you're a janitor, or even if you're a garbage collector, or a farmer, or a baggage man, or a higgler, or a police, or a soldier, or a doctor, or uh, whatever journalist, do it to the best of your ability. And it can take you places. It can take you wherever you, you, you could envision yourself going. You know, so we are all important um, because it takes a village and we are together. And so, you know, even the doctor man, he can't show off on the garbage collector, you know, if the garbage man strike, even for a couple of days, you will see the problem. So therefore, we need everyone, you know, we have to show the respect. And that's why we say, you know, zero tolerance to any form of violation, any form of disrespect, any form of looking down on someone, unless a pull you go pull them out of a pit, you know, look down for nobody. You just look them straight in the eye car we are our fellow men and women within the human family. All right, yes, I say, tell you, look out for your resume I come in. You know, I I I, I like the travel and you got 49 country. I just can't yeah. count them by my one one hand. So, uh, look out for my little resume. I come grass, you know, that means you try the bag. <laughs> look out. All you need for do. I let the push out of the bag and check your business online. I don't care. All you need for do. You see that book there and that plan that we have to digitize it. Where you, the idea where you help reinforcing, I mean, each chapter must be digitally available. And we do some workshops. The demand where they feel that you're that frightened. Well, so we no university. Look here, when we roll out that, no university in the world now go left when I want to. I must we can't reach them yet. Well, that is something you're speaking into being, you know. Right. Work, work in progress, work on integrity, you know. Work on integrity, work in progress. Yep. 
sound pretty good. So, you know, I'm going to get my ticket then. <laughs> yeah, man, and everything. Look at my brother. Look at remember, say, you know, that's why we believe in a positive thinking, you know. You breathe thoughts into reality. Positive thoughts become reality, you know. So, once you mentalize, visualize, then you can materialize, you know. Real, real talk, real talk. Yeah. All right. We, we know we are running to the hour mark, so I wouldn't come off and talk about the pandemic. We affect the entire world. We just want to know how that have affected your production and some of the benefits, because we see that now, you know, probably if it wasn't for the pandemic, we would never be able to have you streaming on so many networks, you know. But, you know, that is definitely a, a plus there, because, you know, we can find you all over now. So just tell us some of the hiccups, but some of the good way this pandemic do on your side. Well, I mean, I tell you, you know, you're, you're on point, my brother. Uh, you're doing a good job this evening. Now. Here is Norman Bertrand. It's true. In 2019, I toured the UK for six weeks, mainly in Wales, where we did Scotland and England. And we had a world tour lineup for 2020, starting with Jamaica, Canada, the UK, America, Africa, Europe. So, bam, 2020, February, we had Poetry in Motion. And then after that, now we are going to hit the road with a new book and the whole works. By March now, we had the pandemic. And so the country locked down. And why we started to say, how this is going to now? Because I don't believe in a turn back or stopping and things. So, People started to say to me, yes, yeah, so it's one year now go kill them and postpone the event. I mean, say, no retreat, no surrender. I mean, let's dig deep. I mean, get an inspiration that why not rise to the occasion and celebrate with 10 countries. So rather than postpone the event, I linked up my global network. And so we had poets from Iran, South Korea, Botswana, Netherlands, Canada, England, America, Trinidad, Barbados, and Jamaica. So for the 10th anniversary of Jamaica Poetry Festival, we had 10 countries. And we had many sponsors. First time in the history of Jamaica, a poetry show has been broadcast live in its entirety on television. We had sponsors from the government of Canada, government of Jamaica, Tourist Board, Tourism Enhancement Fund, sponsors from Australia, sponsors from Scotland, sponsors from America, sponsors from Cayman Island, all over. And so we were able to reach in excess of 650,000 people for the first time for the festival. And so for this year, Poetry in Motion, we adapted the same model. And we had sponsors from all over. And we were able to access more people than we have ever accessed maybe in the entirety of the festival since in its, in its inception. And this year was the 18th year. So we turned we hand make fashion as Miss Lou Piccini, turn the negative into positive, and rise to the occasion. Together we rise, you know, and build the nation and do something that people can be proud of and can be proud to identify with. And so we really feel good still that we were able to do that and, 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 that, and that so much people came out and support. And if you look at this year's staging now, on Sunday, August 8th, we have the public broadcasting company of Jamaica streaming live on TV and on the social media platforms. We now have the, 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 the um, PSI out of the British Virgin Islands, access in the Caribbean, Mexico, parts of America. We have the African diaspora represented in the African dream that access 250 million households. Now, 250 million viewers, you know? 250, sorry, not million, I'm sorry, 250,000, quarter million households in the United States, in the Caribbean, in Mexico. And, 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 and online as well, parts all over, across the continent, especially the global African diaspora. We also have the KCN out of the Caribbean as well, and the other social media platforms. So we really do the due diligence, and we have been blessed by the Almighty and from the people who support us and admire what we do. And so we have been able to, 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 to make the, the, the event accessible to all parts of the world. And now people are calling us. We can't keep up. I mean, the amount of people that wanted to be at the event this year 
we just couldn't, you know. We don't we want to have a tight two hour program, so we had to stop somewhere. So, so you're, you're spot on, my brother. We really used this occasion. We had some hiccups, we had some challenges, we still do because nothing can replace the physical. But it won't be the same anymore because even when we return to physical staging, we will still have to have the virtual staging because we have to be grateful for this new captive audience that we have discovered. And so we want to bring them in. And that is why the Tourist Board and the Tourism Enhancement Fund and the Ministry of Culture and the other entities are so happy to be a part of what we are doing because they see that we brought the government said to me this week that they are happy for the new emerging poetry industry for which I am largely responsible. And so I'm honored for the government of Jamaica to be saying that, recognizing that poetry is now becoming a viable industry that they must support. And this started to happen in earnest last year in the midst of the pandemic. Yes, sir. Yes. You know, what you just say, basically, that is what we call pivoting. But we have to take you back to yard. What you just say, Miss Lucy, take your hand, make fashion. And your hand no. make fashion, yeah. Yeah, and with that. I say, I say, Kinti, keep a heart bun. So all when, all when things rough, man, you know, but I make me, you know, but I, Screw up your face and wrinkle. You just smile and show your dimple. And if you're not a dimple, you don't Keep know where it goes. Keep it plain and simple. Plain and simple. All right. Yes, we love it. So, you know, as you just mentioned, you know, Miss Lou, Miss Louis Bennett, the, you know, the impact that she has on the whole poetry, the drama, the patois, with culture, and the traveling to the world, just you know, Miss Lou coming like I, I was the whole network where we are doing. I know, you know, I'm gonna say something to you. And the first time he said this to Miss Lou, son, Fabian, he trimmed and he run from me. I hope your audience not run. Listen, Jamaica is like Christ Joseph who was crucified on the international cross of slavery and colonialism and buried into the sepulchre of death and captivity. But like Christ and like Joseph, we refused to die. So we live that death must die. And so the tomb, the sepulchre, became a womb and gave birth to I and I, the children of the black resurrection that are breathing new thoughts, new love, new perspective, new hope into the temple of the family of humanity. Now, Miss Lou is like the mother Mary of Christ. So she's like the mother of Jamaica, language and culture. So Miss Lou, in that respect, respectfully, could be compared to Mary, the mother of Christ, because she's Mary, the mother of the people Christ Joseph who were sold into Egypt's captivity but who emerged triumphantly in Pharaoh's house to feed the very people who sell him out just like how Europe and America sell him out and to feed the whole world and advance the welfare of the whole human race and to feed the people with music and new hope of peace and love and confidence and humanity and the brotherhood and sisterhood of man, women, and children in the earth as it is in the heavens with sun, moon, and star, father, mother, and child. This is the role of Jamaica and this is the role of Miss Lou because you think in the language that you speak and the language that you speak shape and dictate how you think. And that is where Miss Lou comes in. Plain and simple. And, uh, Plain and simple. I uh, uh, love it. Love it. So, yes, sir. So, that's you know, why we love Miss Lou. We love all the very grown when Miss Lou are falling Yeah, man. Miss Lou Foundation and the rock on which we built. You know, they said together we rise building our nation. Yes, sir. Just want to say, man, we thank you for coming on the show. And you know, really, uh, Anna, each and every time that you grace the platform, you know, your presence makes a difference. Your energy, the level of energy where you, are, where you are kick off, you know, it's just a vibration that 
And I know anybody can, can, can hold the vibration and I know. Quite okay, powerful, you know. True, my brother. And reciprocity is, re reciprocity is the operative word. So we have to give you equally the credit to allow that energy to flow so naturally. And so we want to thank you for the opportunity as well and for the platform. And, and for the confidence and the support consistently to, to, to link with the people and build bridge of hope and bridge of friendship so that we can come together, even virtually, and know that we are one people, one earth, one love, one humanity, one breath of life, irrespective of your differences in skin color, religion, language, politics, social strata, educational background. We are one people. One breath, one blood, one earth, one love, one humanity. And we want more of this, you know, to be out there, to change the narrative, change the messaging, that people don't have to hate and, and kill and fight people because they have a little different color from themselves, a different hope, ear or nose, or talk different, or dress different, or worship different. You know, we want to think that the religions of the world and the languages and cultures of the world are like the loving fingers of the hands of the Almighty God. And neither God nor man want to do without a finger. And look how the tongue stand off. But when it come to write and eat and do things, the tongue come together with the rest of them. So we can all come together, you know. Even in this pandemic, we need to look out for each other and be the best of ourselves and, and, and encourage other people to give the best of themselves and to facilitate the giving the best of themselves. So in that regard, we thank you as well for giving the best of you so that I can try to give the best of me so that together we rise, build our nations. Yeah, man. So, you know, we know Yasas, as we say, always a better, the last performance, always planning ahead. But, you know, we don't know if you want to give us a sneak peek at what to expect in the near future, what's next for Yassos? Well, we continue doing what we're doing by the powers and the, and the mercies and the grace of the Almighty. Uh, certainly, we're looking forward to a whole series of, of, of activities leading up to, to the 11th staging of Jamaica Poetry Festival. I'm working on some work for my daughter. I'm working on some new songs in the studio. <laughs> Uh, we continue to build up the Jamaica TV radio. We're working on the second edition of, of um, Overstanding Rastafari Jamaica's Gift to the World. Already, we are working on the 20th anniversary of Poetry in Motion, which is on Sunday, February 26, 2023. You hear that? <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> February. <laughs> Sunday, February 26, 2023, the 20th anniversary of Poetry in Motion, the longest running and most successful annual poetry festival in the history of Jamaica and the Caribbean. And so we start planning for that already. We'll also obviously be doing the, 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 the 19th staging, which is on the 27th of February, 2022. And we already start work on that. And we already start work on the 22nd staging, which is the 12th staging of Jamaica Poetry Festival. But in, aside from that, I won't say much more, but we have a special event planned for the 1st of August next year. That is something to look forward to. There will be nothing like it. PSI in the British Virgin Islands has invited me for a series which starts in October and go to November and December. Stay tuned for much more on that. Um, and so we have a whole heap in the pipeline, both in that respect and in agro-processing, you can look out for new products, agro-products, value-added products coming out of us, um, beauty and health as well, wines and oils, and, and, and so we're currently working on developing those. And so, yeah, sky's the limit, my brother, and, 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 and we just give thanks for health and life and inspiration, so we're just going to do that. We are also being featured in State 60th Anniversary magazine, and we are happy for that. Stets is an institution that has given so much to me. I'm always happy to give forward to the Stets family. And so we are looking forward to, 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 to being featured in the 60th anniversary magazine and to be a part of Stets 
uh, 60th uh, anniversary celebration. So we are looking forward to that. Um, and so, you know, there are many other things, um, but for now, those are what come ready to mind. Really. So to our audience, everyone that have checked in tonight, we just want to say thank you, you know, for joining in. We know, you know, there is a little thunderstorm or hurricane, whatever is passing by, we just ask that you stay inside, stay safe, wait until it's all passed. We hope, you know, that you guys will be safe. No, no loss of life, you know. And just stay safe and thank you guys for basically joining us here on the program. Together we rise in our nation. And as I said, it was a pleasure having Yasas on the program another time. And as the man said, we're going to keep it plain and simple. You're not going to keep it simple. simple. Let me tell you that plain and simple. Plain and simple. <laughs> you, you could have screwed till you blue. Blue. Wrinkle, wrinkle, or smile till you smile for your dimple. Yeah, yes, sir. Me go put one extra in there, no. Ah, cry, cause some of them have a cry and spoil the dimple. No, be spoiled. Oh, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm bad. Fuck on that tears. I holla. I water. The no matter what you want, do. But guess what? So look at yeah. then Ian. You sound good, you know. Why you not? You need to accept the challenge and do that and no, drop the line there, man. We are no, man. No, 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 yourself, man. It, 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 Angie Johnson, Neville Legister. Wah, go on, Neville Legister. I'm a virgin from States and cast that, you know. All right. Bless up yourself, Neville. Yeah. And everyone, you know, um, love and honor. Stay together, States. We're proud of you, too, you know, Neville. So you can't stand it. Think are you proud of we are alone? We're proud of you. Proud of <laughs> And we That's give thanks. Nice. Give thanks, man. And a good youth that, you know, a Jedi youth yeah. that don't never let this In time, he tell you that, you know, so they man, they put them out of the ground and talk. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, never. Keep it real, yeah, plain and simple. Yeah. Plain and simple. And what is this about? You know, it's empowerment for everyone, you know. You can say something? Yeah, you're free. <laughs> look here, you know. Some people may be as a boy, Ray, 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 but look here. What my what me believe, you know, um, Ian, if the one dollar don't have a value, the five thousand dollar don't have a value. So if the individual don't have no value, the nation don't have a value. So each individual is a sovereign being. That is why we can speak of a sovereign nation. So I'm not here to tell anyone what they must do to their own temple. I'm just here to say, inform yourself. That you can make informed choices and informed decisions as it relates to the temple and your family and your country and a part of the democratic process and the building of consensus. So once you come to that, you do what is best for you and do what is best for others if you can. And so don't be violated and don't violate and allow others to make their own free choices from an informed position. And shove nothing down nobody's throat. And I make nobody shove nothing down your throat. So you need not feel threatened about us being assertive. We are assertive that we won't be violated. And we are equally assertive that we won't violate. Plain and, and simple. simple. And guess what? In closing, guys, just tell them to take on the challenge. You know? Plain and simple. Bless it. Plain and simple. That's yeah. what we said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take it easy and bless up yourself. Love and honor, my brother. Bless you. Bless the family. Thank you. Rastafari, bless it and set it with honor, love, and more prosperity. Plain and simple. And simple. Do it every time. Every time. All right, my boss.
Give thanks, my brother.